it's me, JC, back with another Ceramic Hour live stream. In this stream, we are just going to be working on trimming our little um, toaster uh, pastry uh, trinket dishes. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I need another coffee. Okay, so we made, we're working on one yesterday. We're going to slab um, some more, but we didn't have time. So I made some um, off the stream that we can um, work on. Let me see. Uh, okay, so this is the one that we um, that we were working on yesterday. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I was supposed to like let these sit and dry a little bit <laughs> so that we could work on them. Um, they're not, let me see, how's this one doing? I mean, it's a little bit drier than yesterday. Um, I think we'll see what we can do. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to like making more if we had to just like, if we couldn't like trim these very much. Um, so we have these two sizes. Let me like try to get like a good kind of like overview. Um, and then we have two of each of these sizes. So um, I think this would be a really cute, like just like tiny little dish. And then I think this one will shrink to like a normal size dish, like about the size of um, like the heart dishes that we have and the bunny dishes. So I think it's gonna shrink to be, eh. I mean, like that big. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks really big. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we're just, I think we're just going to go with it. Obviously, I've already trimmed them. Um, the other ones are also trimmed, like, a bit. Um, just, like, very roughly. Um, so, yeah, this one's definitely a bit drier than the other ones. Um, but yeah, all of them are just like very roughly trimmed and let me just like put, um, some little like stir sticks out, I think, so that they can kind of just like sit and like sort of dry, um, because, um, although we're not going to work on all of them in the stream, um, I might work on the like extra ones off the stream. I'm going to put this one over here. Just a second. Um, typically, like, if we make more than one thing in the stream, we'll kind of, like, show how we're doing the one, and then I'll do the rest, just kind of, like, in my own time. <sighs> Um, but sometimes I don't want to get, like, too behind with the amount of things that I have <laughs> that are in progress. So, um, off the stream, I did, um, just, like, very roughly cut the corners. Um, I forgot to do that yesterday, but I wanted to make sure that we have all of these just kind of, like, little rounded corners. I think it might be dry enough for us to, um cut the edge of this. Um, so we want to cut it at a slight angle. And it's hard to do this if the clay is too wet. So I'm just gonna um, do the sides and then we can come back to those kind of like corner areas. This is not precise whatsoever. I'm just <laughs> I'm just going at it, really. Um, so you can see, let me see, we did, oh, we did the, these two corners. So you can see um, that this one has a slight angle and then this one's a bit more straight. Um, I don't know. Um, I kind of, I feel like a lot of trinket dishes um, do that. Um, and I don't know, I feel, I guess it kind of, I think it adds a like a slight interest to the 
the form on the sides instead of just being like <clears throat> right angles I don't know definitely just kind of like something that's up to you if you want to do that you do have to plan if you're going to um you're most likely going to like cut out a tiny bit on the back so you want to make sure that you're if you do cut that out before you trim the edges you want to make sure that you have enough room so you can see on this side it's a lot um it's not as wide as this side and we haven't trimmed this side so you just want to make sure that you um are sort of planning ahead okay Let me just take a look at what we've got going on. Um, I think this one could be at more of an angle, maybe. It really is just like very slight. Um, Maybe we'll do a little bit more. I don't know, maybe going this way works a little bit better for me. I don't know. I really don't want to like trim off too much at once. Just in case I kind of like make a mistake. I think this side's uneven though. Sorry, we're almost done here. <laughs> I feel like nothing about this is like very exciting. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of get this corner. Let me check this out before we... I think we need to do this side. Also, I'm not sure if these walls are too tall. They might be a little bit tall. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to see like how it looks a little bit later. Once we've got all that carving done, we can take a look. Um, don't really have any updates or anything um, for you guys. Um, I mentioned yesterday that next week I won't be streaming on Monday and Tuesday. So that is March 18th and 19th. Um, just so you guys know ahead of time. 
time going into the office where I, I normally um, do the stream um, on my break, so <laughs> I can't really do the stream when I go into the office. Um, and like, I don't know, I kind of prefer doing, doing it like during the day for the most part. Um, otherwise, I don't think we, we don't really have anything going on. We have a regular stream schedule uh, planned so far for this week. Um, Sorry, I just kind of like to get the extra stuff that's off the <laughs> that's off the knife. Okay. I think I'm pr I'm pretty okay with this right now. Um, it kind of like dips over here. Let me just kind of like, let me fix that and then we can maybe do some trimming. Um, I think we could finish the back side with its trimming and then go to the front. Check the thickness. Okay, we have a decent amount to do. Um, I think I'm just kind of like see. Um, what you could do is like push a needle tool through it. I don't really want to do that. I don't really like to do that, but you definitely could if you wanted to. I feel like I have a pretty good idea of like how um, how deep it is. I think I might want to. I don't know. I think I kind of want to round the base out. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that would make it look nicer. Oops, oh my gosh, we don't want to grab too much. Okay, I think we're just gonna kind of like lightly round this angle. And hopefully just kind of um, fix any of those like slightly wonky spots. Okay. So I think like, yeah, um, we we'll want to kind of um, solidify where um, the foot actually is going to be. And we haven't done that yet. I just kind of like left a very vague spot of like where it should um, be. We're gonna narrow this down a bit. Um, I think I'm just going to go for it and just um, grab a bit more of clay up here. This is definitely like up to you on like how deep you want the foot to be. Um, it's good to f have some kind of foot um, on pieces just so that they um, do not... um like wobble um because if you didn't carve down into the foot and you just left it flat um it's possible in the kiln um so when the clay goes into the kiln it kind of like there's a there's a certain temperature where it sort of melts and it could warp and 
that means that like um the bottom of it will kind of like so like it's upside down right now so it would kind of like go up but you know um so it would make the bottom like uneven and you wouldn't really want that um so that's why we always carve feet into our pieces some people don't do that and I don't know a ton <laughs> about like when you wouldn't carve a foot into something. I'm not really sure. Um, but I think like the safe side um, is to carve like some kind of foot into it um, or have it lifted up. Um, you don't even have to like do this. This is like definitely like the classic kind of thing. Um, but um, an artist that I follow, like she have like a flat bottom piece and then has like, I don't know, like um, rolls out like just like balls of clay and like attaches them like I don't know maybe there's like probably like maybe like three is maybe a little bit more stable and like that is like the foot um so you can definitely do like different unique things um and that kind of like it's basically doing the same thing um in case like the clay does warp a bit um I don't know like a ton about like at what points it will or won't warp. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's like, if you have like a very large surface area, it's just more prone to it or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but there are definitely a lot of different like types of feet that people will make. Um, I'm sure there's like, you could just like Google out and get some ideas or like look on Pinterest. Um, I don't know. This is just kind of what I like to do. I am, I don't know. I'm not really like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really like the person to like put a ton of extra work into like, a portion of it that you're not going to see um I don't know I'm not even sure if I'm making enough money on like what I'm the prices I'm currently selling at I don't know I just feel like I don't want to put like extra time into it that someone's not going to enjoy or something I don't know I don't know okay <laughs> Um, if it's something like small, I might do that. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's just kind of like on preference too. If it's like a actual like shape that you can see while it's like standing up, um, like those like spheres or whatever. Um, but like to me, like that's not really like in like my style. That's, it's just not really like something I would do with my work. Um, but maybe that will change. Okay, let me smooth this out and I don't know, just kind of like see what we have going on here. See how it's looking. This is okay, but I would be hesitant to put glaze here. Um, I'm not sure if that's really, if it's deep enough for glaze. I think we can try to make it deeper. Maybe, I don't know. I guess I'm not really sure like what I would put there though. I don't know. Let me think. Maybe we should think on it. Because I'm going to be under glazing it. So. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, we're really just gonna put a clear glaze on the top. So I guess, I don't know, maybe we, I don't know. I think we'll, maybe we'll just keep it like this. I mean, we could just make it deeper just because, maybe just like a tad deeper. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm, I wouldn't even put glaze here really. Um, I think it's kind of nice sometimes if it like, you know, it's like a matching glaze or whatever to like what's on the top, but we're just going to be putting a clear glaze on the top though. So, unless I wanted to put like under glaze here, but like, I don't know what I would do <laughs> in under glaze, like for design on the bottom. I'm not sure if like anything would really make any sense <laughs> unless it was like, Um, let me think. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think of like what would be like on the back of a toaster pastry. <laughs> Use the generic name. Um, like, like dot? Isn't there like six dots or something? I don't know. I think we're gonna <laughs> like sit on it. Um, and I don't know. I, I actually don't like eat them, <laughs> but I think they're like a cute, like iconic thing. <laughs> I used to eat them, but, um, not really like anymore. <laughs> um, this one artist that I, I follow has, um, Juice Ceramics. She has a lot of fun things. She currently has, um, it's not really, I don't think she really has things that are, like, going so deep as, like, nostalgic, really. They're just, I, <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> I feel like she's just making weird things. But she has, like, a vase and it's, like, a Heinz ketchup bottle. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Actually, she doesn't even just have one. She has, like, I think she was selling, like, a bunch. Um, and it just kind of, um, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that. I feel like that's kind of, it's kind of, like, a trending thing right now is to have, like, quirky, whimsical, um, things that are not so everyday. Um, I guess I'm not really sure, like, how everyday it is, because it's kind of trending, so, I don't know, I mean, definitely not an everyday thing to have, like, a Heinz ketchup vase in your house, um, so she's kind of, like, sort of, like, in the trend, but, like, kind of not, I don't know, um, I think things like that are so fun. I bought a necklace by her that is like, <laughs> then it's a ceramic um, necklace and it's a stick of butter and it says butter on it. And I really like it. <laughs> it's so weird. But butter is kind of like trending and that's such a weird sentence to say. <laughs> um, but I see a lot of places that have like a stick of butter as I don't know whatever <laughs> I saw one I don't even know where it was it was like I think it was an Instagram ad for like a rug and it was a stick of butter and that was the rug <laughs> um <laughs> I think those things are so fun um there was a store that um that I used to go to on Mackinac Island um, it's actually, it is still there, but they have a very different, um, selection of things today versus, like, when I was a kid. Um, but that's the, that's literally, like, the kind of thing that the store would sell is just weird, um, things. They're, like, all of these things have been so much more popular in, like, the recent um, 
recent years. Um, like, I feel like pe a lot of people have seen stuff like that where it's like, um, I've also seen like the butter as like a sticky note pad or there's like, I think there's like a ramen sticky note pad. Um, I don't know who that's by. It's just like some big company <laughs> or something. <laughs> Possibly post it. I don't really know. Um, probably, I don't, maybe not. Um, or like, I don't know, like a ladle, but it's like in the shape of a dinosaur. Like all these like kooky things. <laughs> They're like normal things that anybody would have. But then there's, it's like in the shape of something really weird um, or just not quite the norm that you would just find at any other box store um so that's like what the store used to have um they might have some stuff like that like they had like i i remember when i was a kid i bought like these band-aids there or i guess they're not band maybe they're band-aids i don't know i guess that, that's the brand bandages and they're like in the shape of like bacon <laughs> like that's what they looked like it was bacon <laughs> um like, I don't know. I just remember when I was a kid, like, I need more of this in my life. Like, why don't more stores, like, have stuff like this? I specifically remember thinking that. Um, and we used to go to the island a lot. Um, it's, like, Mackinac Island is... It's just off, like, the mainland. And the mainland is, like, where I'm from. So we would go there all the time. Um, and like every single time I would go to the island, I would have to go there and see what they had. Um, I don't know if they like changed owners or something, but they just like, they don't quite have so much of that weird kooky stuff. They have a lot more very normal. <laughs> um, like I don't know like touristy things like um they had some cute t-shirts in there I did get one um the last time I was there <sighs> but I don't know I really liked their very kooky interesting things um and I don't know I I'm I don't know I just kind of realized that we're making a lot of trinket dishes and I think it's kind of like going off of like, I don't know, my need to like have more of this out in the world, like weird little um, trinket dishes that are like toaster pastries or something. <laughs> Maybe we should do, I think it'd be kind of funny. I, I was just thinking about last night. Um, like, I, I don't no i feel like butter dishes are like trending right now like every time i go on instagram someone that does ceramics is like making a butter dish i don't know if that's just <laughs> one person that i'm following <laughs> and they just keep posting their butter dish or something i don't know i <laughs> but it would be really funny if you had a butter dish but like it was, it was like a stick of butter or something. Like, and then inside was the butter. I don't know. I love like really stupid things like that. <laughs> I love really stupid things like that. And I'll admit, I know it's stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't know. You'd be like, oh, look at this weird little thing what's inside and then you open it and it's like oh wow that was really on the nose it's butter <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> that's just my sense of humor i guess um in this video game that i was playing i had like a horse that i was riding around and i named him horse and i don't know i just think that's just <laughs> It's just the perfect name. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like stupid things like that. Um, cause I think it's funny. <laughs> I 
I know it's probably, people are probably like, I'm really gonna be watching this and be like, what the heck? It's fine. Um, I'm trying to think of like other things that would be fun to make as a trinket dish. I'm, I'm trying to think of things that would have like a shape, but I'm also thinking of ones that would just be round and then we could like underglaze it as something really specific. Um, I'm thinking like, um, it'd be really cute to have like a little, like, this is kind of like a miniature plate that is like underglazed to look like a pie. I think that'd be really cute. Um, and it's kind of like, <laughs> it kind of goes with that thing. Like you could eat your pie on this little pie dish <laughs> or something stupid. I mean, obviously you could put other things on it, but um, I don't know. I think there's something kind of fun about that. Um, I think the walls of this are a bit too thick so I'm just kind of like I'm kind of trying to figure out like how thick I want the walls here um what else was I thinking um Oh, or a pancake. A pancake would be fun. Um, I don't know. I think... I don't really have that kind of, like, super weird um, sense of humor. I feel like some artists have. Um, there's this artist that I follow on Instagram. I'm sorry. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what her um, handle is. I've completely forgotten. Um, but she has like, um, I think she does polymer. It's either like polymer clay or maybe it's air dry clay. Um, I know for sure because she puts like other stuff in it. So I know it's not ceramic because um, you wouldn't be able to put it in the kiln if it had like plastic on it. Um she has <laughs> some of her stuff is like cute and like normal and like something that I would make and then other times it's just like I don't know super weird um she has like a um like a compact like a you know you open it up and it has like two mirrors on it <laughs> but like when it's closed it looks like dentures <laughs> And it's so weird. It's so weird. But it makes me laugh. I definitely, like, I would not make that. And I wouldn't buy it. But I can really appreciate, like, the humor. Um, and, like, the fun that she had probably making it. And then sharing it <laughs> with people. Um... <laughs> So, like, even if people don't buy your stuff, like, you know, um, they might still enjoy it. And they might still really like it. And, like, that it exists. Um. Um, I cannot remember, like, who that is, though. I feel like her name has something to do with, like, Charlotte. But I really have no idea. Okay, I feel like maybe this is a good um, width for the dish. Um, we could use fixing up like some of the bits on the back, like just kind of smoothing that out. Um, and then I think we'll dig this down to be like a good um, depth. It's still a little thick and it's not like necessary to dig the weight out, but I feel like there's kind of a nice finish to it. Like when you pick it up and it's not like overly heavy 
or maybe it's even lighter than you thought it would be. Um, I think that's like really nice for ceramics and um, for handmade ceramics um, is kind of important because like if you pick up a ceramic piece and then it's like heavier than you expected, you're just like, oh, wow. Like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> there's like, I mean, it's not always like a big deal, but there's kind of, I don't know. Um, there's a very like subtle kind of maybe judgment <laughs> that you have on it. Like, I don't know. I feel like if it has more weight than you think it should, like it's maybe not quite as polished or professional. Um, or like that thing should be just like something you don't even notice. Like if it's the perfect weight um, and you pick it up, you're not even gonna notice. Um, just like really good design, design work. It's always like the bad stuff that you notice. Unless you are specifically looking for that. <laughs> okay, let's check how this is. No, I mean, we could still go a little bit deeper than this. I want to be really careful though, because I don't want to like accidentally punch through the bottom and like create this jagged gaping hole <laughs> I don't know um I'm not sure if I feel like the walls are, I, I kind of feel like maybe the walls are a little bit too high I also want to make sure that I'm trimming the floor or like the well here like fairly evenly like one side is not like deeper than the other side. okay all right so let's just kind of tidy it up make it look nice we can smooth some of this out with just water but if it's sticking out too much um i'll just use this loop tool just trim like the teeniest bit off of the um the walls here okay so let's just try to do this but also in a very smooth way i don't know why but sometimes when i smooth it it kind of like it just like goes all, it gets like really bumpy and goes all over the place. And I don't want it to do that. So I just kind of want to be careful while doing this. And then while I'm doing this, it's kind of flattening and pushing clay off to the sides here. So we're going to have to do some trimming there too. Okay. 
Let me think. I'm just like trying to figure out like how far down I want to go. I think I kind of want to round the sides out too, like even more. Right now the sides are kind of like just very flat, but I think I just really want to like round that out completely. I think that looks good so let's just kind of keep moving here you also want to be careful because this um what we haven't trimmed is it's a bit dry right now whereas like when we trim down um further into the clay it's not as dry so if you are pressing really hard um while doing this you might like gouge out too much So that's why, I, that's why I'm kind of like doing like really just like tiny, tiny bits at a time. I really don't trust myself. <laughs> there's, I don't know. There's always like something where I'm not being like as careful as I should be. And then like, I don't know, the trimming tool just like it gets stuck in something and then I'm pulling really hard and it just like cuts right through just things that I don't want happening. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I got a lot darker. I feel like, I think the videos like make it look like I'm filming like at night, but it's like just a bit afternoon. <laughs> I don't know why. The video lighting is like not the best. I even have like this little like ring light around my phone. Um, and it, I don't know, it still looks like a bit dark. Um, even if there, the sun is out and I have all the lights turned on in the house. I don't know. Definitely don't want to forget to like round out these corners and like adjust those. know why today feels like it's like a Thursday maybe it's not it's a Tuesday I don't know I think I'm like so busy at work everything just like I don't know I think the days are going by like really slowly
I don't know what else to chat about. I really don't have anything else going on. Um, that I haven't talked about. Yeah, I think these like rounded um, walls look a lot better than like the flat top that we have over here. Let's see. Okay, I think this is the last one that we have to do. And, and then we'll have to just kind of like check and see if these are even. I feel like probably not, but. <laughs> This corner is super dry. Okay, we've got like, oh, we've got like 12 minutes. I don't know, maybe we could finish this. Maybe. Such a quick project. Um, I think, oh, I was just, I was thinking yesterday, it'd be really fun to make like some cowboy boot trinket dishes. Um, I'd love to have more kind of like, um, kind of like Western stuff. I think that'd be so fun, especially like, it's really trending right now. Um, not in ceramics, but just like in general, it's just kind of like a trending, um, art theme that is going around and I am all for it. So I think we might have to do that or like, definitely cowboy boots, maybe a cowboy hat, I'm not sure. But um, I think because that's something that I'm like really into, I'm going to want to make a template for it. <laughs> These darn templates that we have are really holding me back. Because I need to, like, draw it out first and then, like, like, draw it out in my sketchbook and then, like, actually make the template of, like, probably cardboard um, if that's, if I kind of want to make it, like, um, stable enough to use a number of times. Um... And I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> Every time after work, I'm just like, no, I'm not making templates. <laughs> and then during the stream, I'm like, I wish we had some templates to work off of that we could <laughs> use. <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally, I'm always like, like on the stream, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I want to make like all like these things these specific things and then after work I'm just like I don't feel like doing those right now <laughs> let's do something else <laughs> let's make some other thing <laughs> I don't know where all my enthusiasm went it's just like <laughs> although yesterday I stuck with it and I made the toaster pastries even though I was like, I should throw on the wheel. I was like, I really need to like make things on the wheel. But I didn't, I stuck with it. We have a little 
wonky spot over here. I wonder if I can kind of fix it if I lower the corner to be the same height. Hi, Queso. What are you doing? Hi. He's just chilling. He's being a good boy. I think it's about nap time, though. For the baby Queso. It's nap time for me too. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I think I mentioned yesterday, like this weekend, I'm like trying to wean myself off of drinking so much caffeine. Um, which I don't even, I feel like there are definitely people out there that drink a lot more than me. Like, um, I don't, I guess I'm not really sure. Um, I usually have like a coffee, like a normal coffee in the morning, and then I might have a Red Bull at night because to, just to just to keep myself like awake. Um, which I guess I don't really know how much that is. Maybe like two twenty. I don't know. That's really. I'm just kind of pulling a number out of nowhere ish. I'm not really sure if that is accurate for like the total amount. I'm kind of guessing on like how much the Red Bull is. Um, I feel like that's not that much. Um, but I just feel like um, like the other day, like last week when I had a coffee. Or, uh, no, I had Rebel, and it just, like, did not do anything for me. And I was like, I'm so tired. <laughs> and Jason's like, I think you've had too much. <laughs> I think you need to, like, cut back. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, maybe. And then, like, the next day on Saturday, yeah, on Saturday, I was like, I'm gonna cut back. I'm like, I was like, I think I can go without my morning coffee. I feel like I mostly just like it for like the taste. Like I really like just like the taste of coffee. Uh, it's like my breakfast basically. I was like, I think I can go without it. And I had a decaf and then, oh my gosh. <laughs> I had like a headache like all day. I had two ibuprofens, finally. Like, later in the day when I took the second one, it went away, um, and, um, I was so tired. I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe, like, how much I actually needed that morning coffee, apparently. Um... I'm so, like, I'm obviously so much more productive, though, if I can just have a Red Bull and stay up. I'm not even staying up that late just to, <laughs> just to be, like, a normal person and to, like, stay up late enough to, like, maybe, like, 10 p.m. Like, I just need to be, like, awake um, enough to, like, do things and not just, like, slump over the couch. Um, like, I'm not even staying up that late. Um, and, uh, so, like, obviously I'm so much more productive if I can stay awake and have a coffee or have a Red Bull than, like, take a nap and then lose like two, maybe like two and a half hours. <laughs> um, and that's like, I, I don't wanna like stay up too late. I don't wanna stay up like 
to midnight because then like the next day I have to like wake up at like eight for work so sometimes the naps like I am just so tired I'll sleep like two and a half hours and then I'll be like pretty awake but like that much will like keep me up till like maybe midnight uh <laughs> I've just got some problems <laughs> over here. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> We're working on something. <laughs> okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Um, I'm just like, um, put some water here and just like smooth that out a bit. Um, to get ready for our stamp, and then I think I just kind of need to tidy up some spots. Let me see. I think we need to tidy the front a little bit more. Anyway, I'm so tired right now. I <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like it's not really, like, that much caffeine, like, um, I don't know. Maybe it is. Have you guys heard about that thing about Panera? Um, like, two people died because their lemonade at Panera has, like, too much caffeine in it, and it's not good for certain people that have like kind of like heart issues um like <laughs> I'm kind of I'm not so great at like remembering like details detailed details definitely look it up because it's like crazy it's like Panera like you don't need that much caffeine in lemonade like nobody is buying the lemonade because they think it has caffeine in it they're buying it because it's lemonade like I don't know. I need to know. Um, if you're going to comment, comment the answer to this. Would you expect lemonade to have caffeine in it? I feel like nobody would think that because it never does. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, that's just me. And like, as like far as I would know, about beverages but like I would certainly not think that lemonade has any caffeine in it and they're um they have made changes like some changes since these incidents but I still feel like why is there caffeine in it like I, I just feel like at least me and like what I know nobody is even expecting it to have any caffeine in it like that I don't know maybe I'm just like kind of like out of like certain trends or something or like what I don't know the, <laughs> certain things maybe I'm just like out of the loop of certain things but I'm, I was just like very confused I think they had like um they claimed that it had the same amount of caffeine in it as one of their coffees but it certainly did not um I think there's like I feel it I think um when the this one girl um when she had it it had like I think it had just under 400 milligrams of caffeine in it and 400 is like the limit kind of like of what you should have in a day like but because she had like a certain heart condition um uh long qt syndrome i think it was um and it's like relate i don't know it has something to do with the heart and because she had that issue and like had too much caffeine and didn't know the lemonade had caffeine in it um, I think it gave her a heart attack or something happened there. 
And it's like Panera. Like, you do not need to have 400 or, like, even close to that much of caffeine in a single beverage. Like, and people, like, because the lemonade is, like, um... I think it's like free refills or they definitely have like that program where you can just like get unlimited amounts of refills or I don't know what the heck. There's like a drink thing that you can sign up for. Like people will like sit at Panera and like work on their laptop or something and just like keep getting refills and stuff. So it's like, I don't know. I'm This is definitely not like new, new news. But I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're, since we're like talking about caffeine, I just like thought about it. And I, I don't know. I just kind of like want to hear what other people like think about it. Like, I'm just like, even like right now, after two people passed away from their lemonade having too much caffeine in it, like, I just don't understand like why they don't significantly lower the amount. Like, I, I I don't understand. I'm so confused and I'm just like nobody is ex- nobody is going to Panera for essentially an energy drink. Like it has more I think it has more caffeine than a Red Bull and a Monster or something combined. I can't quite remember what um I watched um the Legal Eagle video on it. Um he's a great like YouTube. He's a lawyer. And covers that type of stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. I think it's just so ridiculous. Like, why? Like, nobody's even buying it for caffeine in the first place. Like, it doesn't need that much. It it doesn't need that much. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know I get really upset when I think about it <laughs> this like thing because like it shouldn't even be an issue and it has been like a big issue like I don't know I'm just I don't know I don't think I think there's like a maybe a current court case going on about it I don't think it's done yet but maybe maybe they'll roll back some more like changes or something I feel like it's just like too crazy like too crazy like ridiculous but I don't know I don't really know a ton of like that, like legal stuff or anything but, but like as a normal person I feel like it's crazy anyway be careful if you go to Panera and drink their lemonade <laughs> okay <laughs> we're like so off topic and it, we're a little bit over our time Um, so let's go. (laughs) I have to go back to work. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think, if you have thoughts about this. Um, definitely check out the Legal Eagle video on it if you want more details. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just think it's so weird and just crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, actually, before I forget, I'm gonna put my little logo stamp in here. Um, because sometimes... I forget to do that. Um, but yeah, well, this is our stream for today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> like running out of like actual like art <laughs> topics to like talk about. <laughs> I don't know. I just end up talking about whatever is on my mind. <laughs> um, so, um, doo, 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 doo. I think I'm going to put this little dude um over here to sort of dry it's gonna dry out so i can work on it tonight um i have to move a few of these things around okay. um well if you are watching on twitch thank you so much for joining and tuning in um, I'm gonna spray this down real quick with my water bottle just because it is like on the corners and stuff it is getting pretty dry um, 
So I just kind of want to make it sure that it is like not too dry. Especially like the walls and the corners um, are pretty dry. Okay. And then that should be good for me to work on. Let me work on uh, tonight. Um, yeah, well, I think that's our stream. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to... I mean, our dish is basically done. I just have to, like, smooth it out with some water, and that's really it. Um, so I don't think we will drag this out into another video. I just want to, like, I don't know, keep things rolling and... Um, not have too many videos of just like trimming. It is kind of boring probably. Um, so I think I'm going to finish those um, outside of the stream and um, I think we'll start working on something else tomorrow. Maybe we'll like do our little slab cowboy boot. I want to have like a little cardboard template to to work with first. So, let's see if I get that done tonight. Um, if not, we can make something else. I don't know. I I feel like we're on a roll with the little slab dishes. I think they're super cute and very straightforward with, like, how I'm going to decorate them. Some of the other things that I make, I'm not sure how I want to decorate it. And it just kind of takes me a long time to figure that out. So, But these are very straightforward. And... Definitely something we can do on the stream. Um, so I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I feel like we're just on a roll here with them. And I need some wins. Some of those uh, slabs, slab built like cups and stuff that we made did not work out. <laughs> We've had a lot of issues with them. So I just need a win. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm really dragging this out. I need to go. Um, Thank you so much for joining and tuning in. Give the video a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. Um, all the videos, if you are watching on Twitch right now, will be uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. And there are over 115, at least, videos for you to watch of the live stream. Those are all in a playlist. Um, if you just like scroll down on the page, you can find that. And then we also have a couple other videos on there too. We have a few ceramic tutorials and then videos that are touching on just like things for any artist or small business related topics, um, small handmade business topics. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you later. All right, bye.